welcome back. Storm Team 4 now. Tom, I saw you went for a drive and some walks to see the fall colors this weekend. My family did the same. Alicia, I mean, it is just picture perfect out there right now. It is. It's beautiful out here. You know, it's been cloudy all day, but we're getting some sunshine peeking through right now and the temperatures. Well, we've got a wide range, so it's been about seven days since we've had any rainfall, but that's going to be changing as early as tomorrow. Let's check it out. Sunset this evening at 615. The temperatures will go from the upper 50s and lower 60s, uh, actually increasing a little bit later on tonight. So around 10 o'clock, we're going to be at 61 with a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky and Milwaukee a little bit cooler with the east to northeasterly wind, but still at 60. And look at those beautiful fall colors there. Seeing a lot of the reds and the orange colors coming through. Just a beautiful fall day for us. 57 currently in Waukesha, Janesville, the warmer spot at 70, 59 at Watertown right now. So let's look at our overall big picture here. We've got this area of low pressure working its way across North Dakota out ahead of it, the warm front, which is slowly lifting towards the north and east. That'll be pushing through our area first and behind it a trailing cold front in between those two. That's where we have the warm sector and we're seeing uh, some strong to severe thunderstorms now across parts of South southeastern South Dakota and a little bit farther north right there on the extreme western half of Minnesota I actually have a severe thunderstorm warning. Now as this system comes through we're not expecting any severe weather but we could see a couple of strong storms. Tonight's going to be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy and breezy and look what happens tomorrow morning. We start to see a line of showers and some embedded thunderstorms pushing into the Dells and Madison working into Waukesha West Bend right around midday at 11 o'clock and pushing farther east into Milwaukee and Port Washington. I'd say around three o'clock we're going to be done with all of that. Still breezy and fairly mild with temperatures into the 60s. Tuesday's looking like a very nice day. Mostly sunny, breezy, and actually warmer with highs into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So we're going to pick up a quick half of an inch of rainfall for most of us. Some a little bit less, about a quarter of an inch. And in Milwaukee, a little over three tenths of an inch of rainfall will be possible. So our pick day of the week to get out and pick some apples or maybe pick up a pumpkin will be Tuesday. So we're going all green with the highs into the 70s. But we do have some big changes on the way. Once we get through Wednesday, we'll be in for some blustery conditions on Thursday. It's going to be windy and cooler, only a high of 52. Lows dropping down into the 30s. We'll be dealing with some frost and even some freezing temperatures for next weekend. Highs only into the 40s, so get ready.